Hi, I'm Robert, owner of Northline Express. We're going to talk today about the barrel stove kit. Now this is my barrel stove and this is my cabin which is on Boyce Blank Island, Michigan, northern Michigan. And uh, when we bought this cabin 20 years ago we were looking for a way to heat it because it didn't have uh, a good wood stove in it and it only had electric heat as an alternate backup. So the electric heat uh, took forever to warm up the place and was very expensive. So the first thing we did was look around for an inexpensive stove and we settled on the barrel stove kit. Uh, why? Because it's very inexpensive. We didn't have a lot of money left over after we bought the cabin so the, uh, the cost of it fit the bill. Number two, I wanted something that was going to hold a long burn time. Now because of the size of the barrel stove, it holds a lot of wood and it gets really hot if you want it to and holds a uh, long overnight burn. Initially when we bought the barrel stove kit and put it in here, I wasn't really thinking that we would have it in here forever. But uh, after using it for several years, we've decided that, man, this is the great wood stove. Uh, why get rid of it and put anything else in its place? Now some might say that, boy, it's not very aesthetically appealing and I'd probably have to agree with them. It's probably not for everybody. But if you're looking for an inexpensive way to heat, uh, something that burns really well, uh, the barrel stove is a great choice in my opinion. Now this is the airtight version which has a gasketed door. It's also available in a non-airtight version. I highly recommend the airtight version. It's only uh, 20 or 30 dollars more and uh, will give you a much longer burn and a more controllable burn. Well, We sell both models at Northline Express and uh, the kit consists of the door, the flue collar, and the legs. You go out and get your own barrel. This plate we welded on. I made that myself and I welded it on and uh, there wasn't anything available at the time but now there is a hot plate that you can bolt to the top of the, the stove and it's great for holding the kettle. Now the really great thing about the, the barrel stove kit is number one it heats up fast. The barrels are fairly thin metal and uh, like I said I've had this one 20 years. Now we don't use it year round. This is a uh, a part-time cabin. So uh, we use it from September, uh, late September through December and then the uh, island is somewhat inaccessible so we don't come up at that time. But uh, if you had to replace the barrel they're not that expensive. Uh, we get a lot of questions of where do I find a barrel? Well they're available on Northline Express. We also recommend you look around locally and see if you can find something for free. Uh, many times you can. People use barrels or companies use barrels and uh, they'll sell them to you for uh, inexpensively or uh, maybe even give them to you for free. And basically all you need to do is cut out the area for the door, cut out the area for the flue, bolt the flue and the door on and you bolt the legs on and you've got a wood stove. That's it. Uh, nothing else is really needed except um, the flue pipe and a hearth of course. Now because they get so hot you're going to want a good hearth. Now we made this hearth ourselves out of real stone and uh, it provides an excellent backing material uh, because they do, the barrel stoves do radiate a ton of heat and they get very hot. Um, for young children uh, we recommend a gate uh, or of some sort something to protect them from getting up close to the stove because they do get very hot. You can throttle them down pretty well but they're still going to be pretty hot. Now the other great thing I like about the barrel stove kit as you can see this is my uh, my wood pile here for uh, this would actually go for a couple of days. Uh, you can put even a log this size in it and that's a good size log unsplit. We call those overnighters and the great thing about it is, is you can throw a log like that in, maybe get one or two of these others in along with it and that will burn all night easily and have good coals in the morning and provide heat all night. So again, one of the great things about this barrel stove kit is it holds a lot of wood. You can get a really long piece of wood in there and you can get a large piece of wood in this door. Now, 
There's not too many wood stoves that a piece of wood like this will fit into, but check this out. Look at that. Now, we've got another good sized piece of wood. Another good sized piece of wood. See if this one will fit. How about this one? Might get even one more. Let's see. Now that's a lot of wood. That'll burn a good 24 hours dialed down in low heat. Now, the airtight version has a separate door on the bottom. I like to open that up just to get it going and then close that and throttle it down once the fire gets going. And then you use these two draft controls here to regulate the air intake along with the damper. The new models have the damper built into the collar. Usually once you get your wood stove burning, probably going to want to dial these down. Almost closed depending how cold it is out. Um, and that's it. If you look at the door on the airtight barrel stove, this is a gasketed door. This is also a gasketed door, providing you with an airtight stove. Now no airtight, no airtight stove, quote airtight stove is 100% airtight. They all have little leaks around the air controls and that type of thing, but you don't want a lot of leaks around there. And um, the reason is that you're going to get that air going into your stove and it will provide air for the fire and fire it up hotter than you want it to. So having a good airtight seal on there is crucial for a good overnight burn. The non-airtight version of the barrel stove is really better suited for a garage where you're going to be in there just a few hours and back out. But for the extra $20, $30, the uh, airtight barrel stove kit is the way to go. I've had my barrel stove kit uh, well over 20 years. And initially, we thought we would put this in. And then later, when we could afford to, uh, pull it out and get a nicer wood stove. But to be honest with you, it's done such a great job that uh, we're very happy with the way it heats. Uh, it's very quick heat. Uh, heats all night, holds a ton of wood, inexpensive, can't go wrong. It's a cabin. Now, you know, in a nicer home, maybe you want something with a glass door, but the barrel stove is what it is. It heats up quickly, inexpensive to install, and uh, a great value. They're available at NorthlandExpress.com in two configurations, the airtight and the non-airtight version, and we have them in stock. So get yours today. Thank you for watching.